Let's construct the matrix in MATLAB. Okay, so uh, let's go to MATLAB. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to construct the diagonal blocks. Okay, so the diagonal A diag is going to be, oh, let's first uh, settle N, that's uh, 100, right? Uh, let's start with something big. Uh, DX is going to be 1 over N, right? And uh, uh, yeah, let me just clear my workspace first. N equal to 100, DX is equal to 1 over N, and uh, uh, yeah, DX is correct. And a diagonal is going to be minus 4 over delta x and minus uh, and 1 over delta x on the off diagonal. So, so I'm going to do i of n minus 1 times minus 4 divided by delta x squared. Right? So this is going to be my diagonal entries of the diagonal block. And uh, my a diag is going to be equal to a diag. I wish I had plus equal in MATLAB. Uh, diag once m minus two one and one divided by delta x square. Right. Uh, I have forty thousand and the one uh, and ten thousand on the off diagonal. So I will do this again with minus one. So I have the diagonal blocks okay so uh, let's construct the a off diagonal blocks that's just the equal to identity of n minus 1 divided by delta x square right so that's my a off diagonal it's just a, a diagonal matrix with uh, ten thousands so that's the diagonal blocks and off diagonal blocks I'm good so the next task is uh, to put these blocks in place in the big matrix. Here we are going to use a convenient function called the, uh, uh, well, uh, we can have a, a function called a cron, like that basically takes the Kronecker product of, of matrices. But like if you are not, uh, you don't know like this fancy MATLAB stuff, you can, don't be afraid of looping through the matrix and put them in places. So let me just uh, do the, do the, uh, more uh, mundane way so I'll make a uh, I'll make a sparse matrix right uh, because it's uh, it's usually I mean this is very sparse and a lot of MATLAB functions are a lot uh, much much better for sparse matrices because it doesn't have to do a lot of calculations with the zeros so uh, I'm the whole size of the matrix is n minus 1 times n minus 1 by n minus 1 times n minus 1 right so I have a matrix, uh, A that is uh, a sparse matrix. So I will just, uh, for I goes from 1 to N minus 1, and we're going to say A of, okay, so what's the range? The range is uh, I minus 1 times N minus 1 plus 1 to this plus N minus 1, right? Uh, Right, or just, uh, yeah, plus n minus 1. I'm sure there are better ways to do it. But this is the range of the rows, right, of corresponding to the ith block. And if I want the corresponding uh, columns, I do the same. Is equal to a diag. And, okay, so, so I get a bunch of uh, entries in the matrix A. Uh, by the way, A is very bad to display, so it doesn't even give you what, what these are. Uh, so it's uh, for sparse matrices, uh, it's uh, it's more efficient, but like uh, it's not very easy to inspect the entries. Okay, I then I need to fill the off diagonal entries. I'm going to loop again, and uh, what I have is the uh, I shouldn't uh, loop through n minus 1. I think uh, let me do this starting from 2 to n minus 1 because I, I don't have as many. I have one less off diagonal block, right? So, uh, okay, so for example here what I would do is i minus 2 instead. Uh, just uh, doing copy pasting. And uh, the rest is going to be the same. 
uh, because I want to do so this is the uh, this is the this is the let's see I is gonna be I is going to be less, J is going to be more, so it's going to be the upper diagonal blocks, right? And uh, let's just uh, in the same loop also fill in the lower diagonal blocks. So I'm going to use the J entry as my I entry for this one, and use the I entry as my J entry. Okay. Uh, that's it. So I think I filled uh, everything I need to fill with uh, in A. Right? Any questions? I know the indices may not be very intuitive. Uh, if you actually, if you program in Python, the, the indices are actually going to be <laughs> more intuitive than what you have in MATLAB because you don't have the plus ones. Right? So this is uh, this is uh, the range of indices corresponding to the ith ith block in in, in the uh, in this uh, flattened array. Okay. Any questions so far? Okay. No. So let's uh, uh, let's solve this equation with a f that is a uh, pretty simple for now. So let's set f to be one everywhere. So f is going to be ones. Uh, what? n minus 1 times n minus 1 by 1, right? So let's set f to be just all 1s. And my u is going to be a backslash f. I think I need a minus sign because uh, because I need to move f to the right-hand side, so I get a minus. So that's my u. Okay, I got a u being a vector of uh, uh, n minus 1 times n minus 1 by 1. So in order for me to plot it, I have to... Uh, reshape this u to be a n minus one and n and n minus one, right? So now my u is going to be a ninety nine by ninety nine double. So let's do surf. So surf basically visualizes the function. So that's our solution, right? So this is our uh, solution of the two dimensional Poisson equation, where the Laplacian of this function is going to be minus one everywhere.